Ensuring and enhancing safety at sea is a high priority, given the high costs in terms of loss of life, environmental and economic impact, and general public perception associated with maritime accidents. New risks have arisen due to the increasing size of the actual ships and their areas of operation. New and improved technologies for maritime traffic management will be the key to securing safer operations and lower emissions. Within the next 30 years, transportation is calculated to almost double, a big part of it ending up at sea, which will increase the risk of accidents significantly. At the same time, ocean wind farms, oil rigs, wave power stations, ecological fishing areas, pipes and other constructions will take up more and more space. The passive and reactive systems of today cannot cope with tomorrow's traffic. We need new, improved ways of navigating and communicating in order to handle this growing traffic problem. After some years of working with voyage planning, research and innovation, certificate control and route planning and optimization, the Mona Lisa system can now present an operational hardware and software solution, which has been tested on ships in the Baltic Sea and on icebreakers in the Arctic region. The system can send routes between ships and between ship and shore, allowing routes to be optimized and monitored from a sea traffic coordination center ashore. Today, sea traffic surveillance relies on a reactive methodology, trying to identify anomalies, instead of being proactive like the Mona Lisa system. How are we doing? Lots of traffic east of Vien. Okay. Let's take the route west of Vien instead. Send over our new route to SDCC and prepare for the adjustment. How's it going? Oh, it's fine. Mona wants to take the route uh, west of Wien instead of uh, the planned east route. Does that pose a problem? No, seems like a good idea. It's less traffic there, so I'll propose that we agree with the turn change. And there comes the confirmation from the coordination center. Great, this will save us some time. The Sea Traffic Coordination Center will put the captain at the heart of the process, allowing new services that will increase safety, reduce costs and improve the environment. Here, we can create tailor-made routes, catering to each ship's individual needs and the captain's requirements, such as assistance in ice navigation or in other complicated areas. Morning. Good morning. Everything okay? Well, we're closing in on the ice limit, sir, but we should get an updated route soon. Yeah, it looks like quite hard ice conditions, sir. Yes, it does. Yes, route received. This looks good. Just follow the route. Yes, sir. The route exchange model will give all actors the same situational information meaning the STCC and other ships will always know how a ship is following its route. A signal will automatically be sent should a ship deviate from the agreed voyage plan. Mona, Mona, STCC calling. STCC, this is MS Mona replying. Warning, according to our equipment, you are now hidden for shallow waters. Please check your position. STCC, this is MS Mona. Thank you for assistance. That was a close one. The STCC can detect immediately who is not part of the Mona Lisa project and the dynamic and proactive route planning. This helps monitor traffic, reducing the risk of accidents and helping the involved actors to make quick, correct decisions. A ship just left Tornio. There's no information regarding the route and the CPA seems to be close. Keep an eye on her, and I will check with STCC. STCC. Lisa, Lisa, call it. Yes, Elisa, we can see that vessel too. We have no information about her intended route, but we will keep track on her. STCCs will also be able to provide a broad spectrum of services, such as complex route optimization, weather routing, real-time maritime safety information updates, environmental sensitive zones, and other no-go areas. 
In the case of unforeseen events like an accident or sudden military drill, Mona Lisa and the STCC headquarters can lend support by rerouting traffic to everyone's benefit. OK, Roger, we will take care of it. Uh, the Navy's having a big drill. They want to call off Drogden for about three hours. OK, well, uh, that will give us something to do. A lot of traffic heading that way right now. Yes, we will have to start rerouting. What's happening? Seems like the Navy is having a big exercise. All the traffic through Drogden is being rerouted. We will pass through Finn Rennan instead. Won't be a too big detour, I think. Maybe we won't get stuck like last time, surrounded by the Navy for half the night. Okay, that was the last one. Perfect. Give the green light to the Navy. With the aid of modern technology and new processes, we can go from reactive observers to proactive operators that can coordinate and monitor maritime events. This will prevent accidents and environmental disasters. Instead of waiting for anomalies and incidents, we can now plan in advance. With optimized traffic flow and information exchange concerning each other's routes and whereabouts, we can now prevent accidents. We need to change the way we manage freight transportation by sea in order to meet tomorrow's shipping demands. The Mona Lisa concept has everything required to provide feasible solutions for delivering increased safety, efficiency and environmental preservation. And the best part? It's ready to be implemented today.